princess and the dragon the kingdom of shivale was ruled by a brave king harisen the king and queen were sad as they had no children they always used to pray to god with the grace of god on one auspicious day the queen gave birth to a beautiful daughter they named her veera all the people of the kingdom were happy on the birth of their princess as princess veera was growing up along with reading and writing the king also taught her sword fighting horse riding spear fighting and many other skills very soon princess veera turned into a great warrior everyone in the kingdom lived in peace and harmony one day a minister got the news that the neighboring king was planning to attack their kingdom due to his old age the king was not in a position to lead his army in a war he asked princess veera to take his place when the neighboring king attacked their kingdom brave princess veera fiercely led her troops they fought with the enemy and won the battle entire kingdom was celebrating their victory but the neighboring king was upset as he had lost a battle against a princess he was fully aware that it was not possible to fight and win against the brave princess and her army so he decided to take help from his brother ketu ketu was an evil and wicked magician the wicked brothers made a plan that ketu would enter king harisen's palace quietly and capture the king and queen then they would ask the princess to surrender the kingdom to them as per their plan one night the wicked magician ketu became invisible with his powers he entered king harisen's palace and captured the old king and the queen he tied them and kept them in the king's chambers princess veera and the soldiers tried to free the king and the queen but they could not because of ketu's magical powers ketu asked veera to surrender the kingdom to his brother now the brave princess was helpless she was worried about her parents she called an emergency meeting with her ministers they discussed about how they can save her parents from the wicked magician
Chin got scared and kneeled in front of them. The princess ordered her soldiers to lock up Ketu in a dark cell. Her army attacked Ketu's brother. They defeated him and his army. They captured him and locked him with Ketu. Thus, the brave princess saved her parents and ruled the kingdom of Shivale. All the people of the kingdom were happy and lived a peaceful life ever after. Hi, I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and watch more interesting videos.